Brandon. Well, I've only just met him, but Brandon probably, given his reputation. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for Liam, because I've seen him out in Shields a few times, so yeah, definitely. One of these two, are we? <laughs> Brandon and Liam. Do not go out with the pair of them. Danger to society. The man, man sitting across from me, Liam. <laughs> Uh, I would probably say Sam. Ooh, I reckon Johnny. You. <laughs> I reckon you're, you're that kind of guy. Uh, Sam Mulner, definitely. He doesn't, he doesn't like the aggro. I reckon Matt or Johnny. Nice, calm lads. They look after you, you know, on the night out and they peace make our lads calm it down. Johnny or Sam, I would say. Maybe Lee as well. Uh, maybe, I, I'm, I'm not sure about Lee. He might, he might chin someone. I don't know. <laughs> I'm from Birmingham, uh, Piggy Blinders. I'm just past the M62, uh, I'm on my way up to see the game. <laughs> That's an awful accent, I'm awful at impressions. Uh, just just past the service station. He doesn't even have a Geordie accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what he all sound like now. Yeah, that, that's as good as you're going to get. So today I can't be asked to come all the way to Newcastle to go all the way to St James's Park and to get us beat 3-0 against Chelsea. I <sighs> can't be bothered anymore. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Grey Wilders Militia! Today, we're joined by Johnny. Hello everybody, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Two, you got two there. Well, you know, I'm watching here, I don't know what's along with Brendan, Johnny, everything. <laughs> I'm a redneck, <laughs> but I don't know. Probably Adam. <laughs> I mean, he's not here, so Sam. He's got to be. He's not, not allowed to come up for a boozer with the boys. Adam Phillips. Adam, but Sam isn't too far behind for Adam. Adam. <laughs> Easily. Matt. Ooh, Liam. Yeah, he's got, he's got the balls for it, I reckon. <laughs> Reality TV. Uh, Carl. I can definitely see him on Strictly. I'll go for Brandon because he's just a bit daft, so he's a bit out there. Might be me. Me. Lee. All the kit, all the ideas, probably. I'm going to go for Steve because I think he can do anything in life. Matt, because Matt, you live in a flat, is that right? And he's high up. So if the zombies going around on the floor biting people, Mac, as long as he's got all his food, he's, you know, he can go and get, start his food, lock himself away, I reckon he'll survive at least another two or three weeks more than us. I would say Matt, actually. He, he has some dark, dark, how do you say that? Dark seas or something? Like, how do you say that again? I know in Dutch, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Sam. Sam because of his kids, I think. I think that's a fair fair assessment. I would probably say Sam. Just, I think Sam, maybe over Matt. I think Matt would, take a, Matt would have a cup of tea before he goes to bed. Sam wouldn't be bothered, he'd just go straight to bed. <laughs> Sam, he's a bed by about 9pm, he's an old man. Josh? Brand. A hey, womanizer over there, Mr. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, every day of the week. Don't let him anywhere near you, your friends. Brandon again, once again. I think everybody's picking him, isn't he? If there's tits and ass, keep him away. Me? <laughs> Oh, Slovak Garros, Slovenia, or wherever you're from. <laughs> e, Carl, I reckon. Uh, well, he's, he's, well, he's doing his MMA thing, isn't he? Or he was doing his MMA thing, so he's got the physicality for it, so I reckon he'd be good, good at it. I don't think any of us have really got any army experience at all, but if I had to choose somebody, I'd probably choose Carl just. 
Carl's a good answer because I think Carl's done stuff like that, disciplined stuff with MMA. For a complete career change, I could see Adam doing that as well. I would say Adam. I would say you, mate. <laughs> Johnny. Let him. <laughs> Lee Lola every day of the week. And don't let him think, let, let people think that he's some hard nut, you know, from there, from Gators, you know, he does all this, that and the other. He would definitely cry a, a, a silly romantic rom com that his missus has made him watch. Who's a Tia Jerga? Brandon, you told me that you cried in the movie once and now we're queuing in NFTV Extra. But no, I'm not picking him. I reckon Matt or Johnny. Bit of Titanic, let's start crying. I guess Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, probably Lee. Knows what he's doing. Uh, lead, he's a true leader. Uh, I'm going to go for Matt. Matt, yeah, I think um, I would definitely want him on the chase or something like that. I'll say Matt. One. He seems quite intelligent. Sam. Lee's from when he had that strip doing his heed. Can I choose none? <laughs> I mean, mine's no, no great shakes, but um, probably Liam's got probably got the best head of hair out of the lot. <laughs> Certainly not me or Lee. Um, Liam maybe. Liam, yeah. He's got a good head of hair. He's not losing his hair anytime soon. So yeah, you can do you can do all sorts of that, couldn't you? I would like to have Steve's, and I'll tell you why, because Steve with long, lush, luscious locks, you can chop it, you can style it, you can put a ponytail, you can shave, there's so much you can do with that set of hair, set of hair. So I'll pick Steve. Johnny. <laughs> Steve's. Really? Yeah. Because I know like American accents annoy people and I love annoying people, so... <laughs> well, I, got, I get a lot of shit all the time for not having a proper Geordie accent, so um, probably Liam again. <laughs> um, I'm going for Matt because it's the closest to the northeast. Probably be Steve. Hey man, soccer, goal, head goal. So yeah, Steve. Probably Geordie accent, Liam. Like, the Geordie accent probably, so...